have eyebrows, I swear. And I'd really love to start a video with them someday, but you can see how I blocked out my eyebrows in my purple tiger sugar skull video. I'll link that down below. And then I started by just painting my yellow parts so the yellow doesn't mix with the orange. Um, I'm using Wolf FX Hydrocolor here. It's going to be really messy. We're going to clean up the yellow later. And don't mind my existing makeup. Um, it's just old makeup. I didn't bother taking it off, but luckily the paint paints right over it. And then I started sponging on my orange color all over my face. I like to use the sponge when I'm covering a large area because I feel like it gives it a much either, either even um, texture than the brush. And then here I am cleaning up the yellow lines. And then with the brown eyeshadow, I just messily went around my eye. Um, I wasn't too neat with this, but um, I just wanted those yellow contacts to pop. And then with some yellow eyeshadow, I set the yellow above my eye so it doesn't crease. And I also used that to blend in with the brown a little bit. And then with the black eyeshadow and a thinner liner brush, um, I just went around my lash line, top and bottom, all the way around my eyes not neatly and then I lined my water lines with a black eyeliner and popped on some falsies and then here I am mapping out where I want my pumpkin ridges to go my lines with a brown eyeshadow and that liner brush and then I started shading um, from the center out and then I switched to a fluffier brush to help me with the blending and the shading and then I went around my face um, and contoured it just all the way around and blended up some more lines with some brown eyeshadow um, just to give myself more of a pumpkin look. And then with a thin liner brush and some brown face paint, I went around the yellow cut out parts of the pumpkin. And then with some more brown eyeshadow, I just shaded the bottom um, inner parts of the pumpkin and of the mouth and then underneath the nose and on the outer corners of my eyes to give it some dimension and make it look a little more three dimensional. And then I started with my neck piece. I painted some black stripes going down just to give myself a rough idea of where I was going to put my checkered pattern. And then I started filling in some white squares. And you want to make sure they're alternating from um, line to line or from section to section. Again, this doesn't have to be too terribly neat. We're going to clean it up with the black. But you want to make sure you do white first. Um, if you do it the other way, it's going to make a mess. And here I am with um, the black, doing my black squares. And again, I purposely didn't make them all even. I thought it would look better, a little more uneven. And then here I drew the black lines in again just to um, clean it up a little bit, make them thicker and brought them out to a point. And then here I am rounding the edges. I wanted to look, I wanted it to look kind of spiderweb-like um, to match my hat. And then I was gonna leave it with just a pumpkin head, but it didn't look Mickey Mouse enough to me. So I did Mickey's hairline. I painted my ears black and the sides of my neck, and then I went around my forehead and my cheeks to give him his hairline and his classic Mickey smile. And that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more and stay tuned for a how-to video on my Mickey Mouse ears. Thanks. Bye.